Hey guys and gals, it's Storytime with Legend Eternal, and we're here with a short channel announcement and discussion about the short-term direction of the channel. So, let's get right to it, because I don't want to keep you guys too long. First off, I'd like to announce that the Legend Eternal Gaming Conglomerate now has its own Twitter account. The link to that is down in the description below. So feel free to go down there, click on that link, and follow me. It's another way for you to get informed about videos that are being released or get information about other topics or just a way for us to interact because I love interacting with you guys, and this is just another avenue for that other than the comments from the videos. Also, let's talk about the big elephant in the room, 7 Days to Die Alpha 16. As most of you know already, uh, we and we've known for a little bit, the stream team, which we're unfortunately not a part of, was given the Alpha 16 today. And streaming has started and the internet is loving it. But even before that, before today, we have started seeing interest fall off on Alpha 15 content. Um, we've seen views reduced, uh, not just on our Valmont series that we have going, but on other Alpha 15 content on other channels views are kind of dropping off and while it's unfortunate it does show that the game is moving to a new phase and the start of that was today when Alpha 16 was handed to the streamers now I thought and I don't know why I thought this but it was just kind of the impression I had that the streamers would have it exclusively for two heck maybe three weeks to stream exclusively while the fun pimps finished up any work they had working out bugs and whatnot before they started they released it to the general public well i got a text from my good buddy billy brute this morning and he said that the public was getting the experimental branch on monday and i thought billy was full of bull which well i still think billy full of bull but i decided i needed to check on it and so I got on the stream forums, and that forum was on fire. I mean, people were commenting faster than I could read them. And it does seem that, according to the very, very, very strong rumor, that Alpha 16 Experimental Branch is going to be released on Monday. And today's Wednesday, so that's not long. And I, even as I was streaming through, I saw a post from Mad Mole himself the head honcho the head pimp if you will he did confirm in his own vague mad mole way that it is looking like monday maybe tuesday but probably monday because there were a lot of people on it friday and he's just saying well monday's better for us because i don't want to make my people work the weekends when everything crashes out with some crazy bug so it looks like we're going to get that on monday now what does that mean for us? Well, as you know, our uh, valve mod is starting to kick pretty good. And, you know, other than the past two or three days, the views have been pretty good on it. Can, you know, in relation to my small but awesome uh, pool of subscribers, though, uh, it, like, like I said, it's starting to fall off. And, um, you know, I thought we'd have a couple, maybe three weeks more to play with that. But, you know, let's be honest, guys. Um, once that experimental branch hits the public, that version of the game is now um, old hat. And you know, while some some people may still, you know, be highly interested in it, the general public is not. They want to see the new stuff, the Alpha 16 stuff. So you know, I didn't want to just you know not say anything just stop playing and all of a sudden that series disappear and you guys are like what what where to go where to go because you know i've seen tubers do that and i'm not saying that that won't happen you know down the road in my channel at some point but i, I definitely want to try not to because i didn't like being into a stream and all of a sudden it just just uh, not a stream but into a series and it all of a sudden disappear but you know sometimes things happen and so <clears throat> I wanted to just get on here and talk with you guys and, you know, maybe get some feedback from you in the comments on this video. Um, I do have a recording already done. It's going to release Friday morning. I, we're not going to release one on Thursday. That's kind of uh, the day off this week. But I've got one that's going to release Friday. That's already recorded. It's just not ready for publish yet. So 
what we're looking at is um, we're probably going to have maybe three more videos, including that one. Let's see, we'll have one Friday morning, Saturday, Sunday, maybe Monday. So maybe four, including that video. And what I'd like to do is get us through the 14-day hoard before we decide to maybe put that series on hold. And if, in fact, we do see Alpha 16 on Monday, then we will probably switch to that because um, I'm, I really don't have the opportunity to record long enough every day to put out two series. But, um, you know, let me let me know what you think about that. I mean, I, you know, I know you guys are enjoying Valmod. You're, a lot of you are commenting on it and my hardcore subs are watching and and hitting that like button and and i'm loving it and i'm having a lot of fun with it too but i tell you guys when alpha 16 drops that's what i'm going to want to play personally and you know whatever we do with the channel i'm going to be playing that whether it's recorded or not so i'm thinking we'll probably end up recording that so you know let me know what you guys think about that um and that's really all i had to say was just you know Talking about that, letting you guys know, um, there's also the release notes for Alpha 16 were released today. I think I'm going to put that link at that in the description below. Check that out if you haven't yet. Um, there's some good stuff in there, good information, some crazy stuff in there that I would have never, that I wasn't even thinking was going to happen. I mean, stuff like torches, for example, add to the heat map. So, I mean, not as much as campfires and forges, but... You know, so you can have a couple of torches in your base and not worry about it. But if we had, you know, a big light tower system like we do around our horde base in the Valmod series, man, we'd be drawing screamers all over the place. So that's new. That's something that we haven't ever had to think about before is the heat from torches. Also, you know, there's little stuff like splints now require duct tape. I mean, like, oh, man, much as I break my leg, I go through splints like crazy. Now I'm going to have to start, like, being careful and stuff. So you know uh, i don't know about all that you know also you can't uh just spam craft and raise your skill and your weapons and tools anymore so you got to actually buy those points you can craft all the axes and the stone axes in the world and they will all be level 25 until you put a point into that skill so that's going to be different it's going to change the way we play the game i don't know what i'm going to do for my first couple of nights you know that's usually been spent spam crafting stone axes and clubs and bows but Anyway, we'll adapt and we'll have fun. The game looks gorgeous. I've seen some of Mad Mole's videos. I watched a little bit of Kix's video this afternoon, and so it looks gorgeous. I'm really looking forward to it. It's definitely an exciting time for this game. So, again, that's about all I had to say. So, if you liked this little announcement, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, and comment below. Let's have a discussion about it, or even better, comment on Twitter. Let's get that little new avenue of discussion going. But this is the end for Legend. Much love, and you guys have a happily ever after, and we will see you in the next chapter. Bye now.